Hi, my crafting friends. My name is Sandy Ronald and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. If you like my cards and would like to order supplies, I'd love to have you shop at my online store. The link is below and on my blog, Sandra D. Stampinobsession.ca. I hope you get inspired by my creation to craft for yourself. Happy stamping! Today's card is Christmas themed from the Let It Ride truck bundle set from Stamping Up. It's very, quite a simple card. I took a mossy metal cardstock base, five and a half by four and a quarter, and then the Mary plaid cardstock or DSP. And I wanted the gold edging on each side. So my, my very vanilla piece is two and a half inches by five and a half. And so then plaid turned out to be about three and a quarter by five and a half. Um, once I had that all cut out, I did the next step is to do the stamping. So using my stamparatus, I stamped the truck on the very vanilla piece. Um, I, you know, played with it until I had the truck centered where I wanted it to be. Using the memento ink, I inked the truck and then I uh, stamped it and no it didn't work the first time so I stamped it again and that's the beauty of the Stamparatus is you can um, double stamp in the exact spot so once the truck was done I then prepared the trees I cut out a piece um, of mat to, of the truck to mask so that I could stamp the trees without covering the truck so the stamp set, Ride With Me, has balloons for a birthday theme, it has fenders that you can stamp, um, pumpkins, some birthday sentiments, it's very quite a versatile stamp set, especially if you have boys. The dies that go with the set cut um, a 3D truck that's really quite cute, I'll have to do a project with that. It cuts out fenders, it cuts out the balloons, the pumpkins, and the tires. I'm going to have a lot of fun playing with that. So the next step is to stamp the trees. One tree goes in the back of the truck. One tree goes in front of the truck. Um, I had to be careful because the stamp had a, those little, um, I don't know, little needles or whatever flying off the back. So I wanted to make sure I didn't stamp them, so I had to clean them off. And for the three at the back, I had to do some masking. The next step is coloring. I used light and dark mossy meadow blends, the light and dark cherry cobbler blends, and the light and dark black blends. I've sped it up because it really took a bit of time to do the coloring. And I also used a gray granite um, regular felt to color the fenders and that in. the trees are in the mossy meadow. I really like the effects of the blends. It gives quite a professional appearance even though um, I don't claim to be an artist. In my project I put the snow puff paint on first. Uh, I should have stamped the sentiment first and then put the puff paint on. And then using the embossing tool, you heat the paint up and then it puffs up. It gives quite a neat effect. I wanted it to look like snow underneath my tires and along the bottom of the tree. The last step is to color the tires. And I colored them, I guess, three quarters. I wanted, um, again, like I said, to look like the tires were sunk in the snow a bit. And 
and that goes on top of the plaid piece and voila one pretty nice card thank you for spending your precious time with me have a great stamping day